how to stop the hook punch cold. Now this is a very common punch in North America, kind of like the hook punch or the sucker punch. Now in Wing Chun, how do you do that? How to defend that? A lot of Wing Chun guys, they would say, oh, you do the Tan Sao, you do all that. I'm going to show you how to do that, but I'm also going to give you a realistic scenario. What happens, and chances are, personally, I've ever seen very few Wing Chun guys that can actually block it. Because blocking it, again, is not the first resort, it's the last resort. But I'm going to show you some drills and the te proper techniques and how do you defend yourself if someone does throw a hook punch to you and so you can protect your head, so you don't get freaking get hit, right? So these guys, they're training in the back. I'm gonna point out a few things, okay? Can I brush in for a second? So the hook punch. Now, you think about the hook punch, let's say this is the hook punch, that's flying in. Now, we talk about in Wing Chun, we do the Tan Sao, which is where, where we start. I'm gonna show you how to do the Tan Sao. I'm gonna do it the traditional way, which why, why I think it doesn't work. I know some Wing Chun practitioners watching this, you might disagree with me, but I'm gonna prove my point and just experiment with yourself, okay? So slowly as he throws the hook punch, we talk about we do the Tan Sao, and then we do the punch, right? Very common. Here's a problem. Give me just a little bit more pressure. You see that? Forget like, shin is not even that big. Give me even a little bit more pressure. You see that? If this is my head, I'm gonna get knocked out. So this actually, not that it does not work, it's just most people don't do it properly. Now, give me a little bit more pressure. Why does it stop? Because now I'm not waiting for the punch to come in to come in, see this, this, this is my structure. This needs to go forward. It's like tossing a coin. It's power time, right? That's why when you do your form, I'm not, it's not a hard defense, right? Hit the toss again. This, he should feel something. And this is not what stops the punch. One more time, hit hard. This is what stops the punch. 80% of stopping is by hitting this guy. When his head is going backward, this has no power. I'm not waiting for him to do this, right? As I see a blur, this, I move in. I don't stay the same because where is his power? It's at the very end of the fist. If I stay, I'm staying at his range of power. Push, 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 see that? His range of power is not here. That's why Wing Chun, it goes against human nature. When you basically, when you see danger, that's human nature. But if you train your nervous system again and again and again, when you see danger, you move in. You move in, right? Again, you move in. So try that, move in. You're moving in. Both guys. And take your time, Shh. don't do it so Easy to count. Take your time. Take take a few seconds and throw a punch. Take a few seconds, throw a punch. And Drake, when you're practicing, don't do the tight, don't do this fist because you might hurt him if he, he miss. Mm -hmm. Do a loose fist or do just do a palm. But give give Jack some. So if I do like this, right, you're not doing him a favor because his structure is actually wrong. Yeah. If I was to go through, it would have hit him. So what I want to give him a little bit. A little bit, right? It stings a little bit, but give him a little bit of that pressure, right? That you won't, even you accidentally hit him, you, you won't hurt that much, right? Try again. Yes. And then give him a little bit, go ahead. No, harder. 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 See, you're practicing. You so that harder. So let him feel a little bit of that, right? Let him feel a little bit of that. So the Tan Sao, you can do it this way, that's where we start. I personally like to turn. I like to do it more. So you can do it this way. I like to do it more this way. Okay, and you cut in. The concept is not waiting to defend, you're cutting in like two knives. You're cutting in like that. You've seen Bruce's photo part in the Bruce Lee's fighting method. He's like that. Your hand is not like this, you're going in. You're going in, then you can fall off with different strikes, right? 
Try again. Now, let me demonstrate with Jason. Okay. So when, as, as a partner, that's why you want your partner to improve. This, go ahead. Better. Mm, that one's not so good. No, push. Push. Not bad. But I'm not using a lot of force. I'll give you a little bit of force. See how his body move a little bit, right? Okay. So I want him to know, okay, that wasn't so good. I, that might have gone through to me, right? One time. Yeah, that's better. And don't block through here. Don't block so as slowly. You go through that, Jason. Jason, here. Don't block here. Block here. Hmm. Okay. Because okay. all the power is here, right? Feel the different hit. See that? Hit hard. Hmm. The power, mm -hmm. right? And this. I'm doing this. I'm doing this one time. See that? So it should feel like it should be a little, you should feel that little bit of sting, right? Try again, one time. You can hear the wave in the background. That's better. Yeah. Relax, don't do the same rhythm again, again. Relax, relax, take the time. That's better. That's better. That's better. As you evolve, you do this drill and you're doing it friendly. Now, then what you want to do is you exaggerate. You don't hit harder, but you pretend you hit harder. Okay. So give a little bit of motion as a, as a friend, as a training partner. So I can do this all day. Jason, do that. That's nice, right? Suddenly, one more time. A little bit, give him a little bit of that. So that he doesn't freak, right? Training, training that way, a little bit more realistic. Doesn't mean you hit the guy, it just put a bit more emotion to it. Yeah. Try again. Yes. Yeah. So you want to train your nervous system. So when you see a blurb, you don't think. It's not like the guy, ooh! So training all day in, in a dojo, in a martial arts school, you can do this freaking all day. Suddenly when someone tries to hit you with a little bit of more killer instinct, try to hurt you, now you freeze. You don't want to do that, right? It should be the more the more he tries to hit, the more he does that, the more you want to be calm. So I'm practicing, I'm practicing, right? Right? The more you try to be calm. Now I took this, I hold back because I know he's going forth because it would have hurt him really bad. So purposely pull back a little bit. Try one more time. Right? I do it chest, but the reality, this is a strict punch to the throat, right? It's and notice my fist is here. It's not here, right? As he goes through this thing, trust me, it's gonna hurt. This, the harder he comes forward with this, the more this hurts, right? That's why Wing Chun, the punch goes through there. Okay, try a couple more times, then we'll wrap this up. Very important, practice slowly in the beginning and have your partner give you the same rhythm, feed your same rhythm first, and then kind of semi, not so 100%, always, always the same rhythm. You might try the different beat, so you get used to it. And that's realistically how you stop that hook punch cold. Ideally, it's not what we want to do. We want to hit first. We want to go in, but we don't, it's not like we wait, but it's, if that actually happens, you try it. If you're not sure if you can block the hook punch, have a friend, just put on a glove and say, hey, you know what, I want you to hook punch. Don't try a combination, just hook punch my face. But I want you to do like 50% power, 50% speed. See if your Wing Chun can defend that. I think you'd be surprised because I see a lot of guys, you think you can defend, hook, put on just a glove, boom, you hit them again, you hit them again. After hitting them a couple of times, okay, maybe I need to modify my approach just a little bit, right? And that's what happens to me. When I do boxing, I got, I got my ass kicked, right? So when I modify it, okay, now I can better defend myself. So that's how you solve the hook punch. If this is the first time you're watching my video, make sure you click on the subscribe button. Don't forget, leave a comment below. Watch my other martial videos on the left. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Ask me a question below if you want to. Practice, practice, practice hook punch with the training partner. Practice all these other martial art moves. Until next time, be water, my friend. Be water, my friend.